You know when you're trying to use your phone on a slightly rubbish day? There's a bit of rain in the air and the screen gets covered in tiny droplets of water. Have you noticed how those droplets are often very brightly coloured? The reason for that is the way your phone displays colour. It uses tiny little red, green and blue pixels. And by varying the brightness of those pixels, it can display basically any colour it wants. The droplets then act like tiny magnifying lenses and take the pixels, which are invisible to the human eye on a modern phone, and make them big enough that you can see them. So here's a project for a rainy day. Let's use this effect to turn your phone into a microscope. It's pretty horrible out here. Fair point. Let's go inside. So what we can do using the same principle is take your phone camera and put a tiny droplet of water on the lens. And in exactly the same way, that'll act like a magnifying glass and allow us to take some extreme close-up photos. Now, obviously phones are electronics. They don't really like getting wet, so you've got to be pretty careful when you're doing this. I think the easiest way is to get something else with the water on it, like I'm using a spoon here, and then just pop the droplet onto the camera. And now it's time to do some microscopy. So let's have a look at some things under the microscope. You'll find you have to get your phone surprisingly close, but when you do, suddenly it snaps into focus. It's a little bit wobbly because the water droplet's jiggling around, but you can see on this coin, that is Queen Elizabeth's crown. Let's try something else. How about this bit of bread? And there you go. This tiny breadcrumb absolutely fills my phone screen. You can see, oh, there's a tiny little bit of red fluff on there. I don't know where that came from. Let's have a look at these salt crystals over here. You can't make out a lot of detail with the naked eye, but if you look at them with the phone, you can actually see well, salt crystals often come in various different sort of square and rectangular shapes because that's the way their crystal structure is made up. Let's have a look at this flower. Ooh, it's amazing, look at all that detail. And now we can even go full inception and look at a phone that's got its screen covered in water droplets with our water droplet lens. And there we go, look at that, that's a really tiny droplet. You can see every individual pixel. Obviously those images are a bit dreamy and blurry, and that's because a water droplet is never going to act like a perfect lens. But for a free modification inspired by a rainy day, I don't think that's half bad. Thank <laughs> you.